In the aftermath of the American Civil War, three constitutional amendments, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th, all ratified between 1865 and 1870, secured the most essential rights of African Americans while remaking the nation on the basis of equal protection of the law and birthright citizenship. Yet the right of black men to vote, enshrined in the Constitution by the 15th Amendment, found itself under siege almost immediately. The 15th Amendment to the Constitution, which is ratified in 1870, basically extends black male suffrage to the whole country. With racial barriers removed, black men during Reconstruction voted in droves in elections that would translate into 2,000 African Americans elected at every level of government. If you were an African American who had just been elected to the legislature, it was your time. The future must have seemed limitless. But the 15th Amendment, as written, had major holes in it. First of all, it excluded women. And second, it didn't exactly guarantee all citizens the right to vote. It only said states couldn't bar voting on the basis of race, color, or previous condition of servitude, leaving the door open for restrictions that didn't discriminate overtly, but which would have dramatically deleterious consequences. What we see in the late 1880s and throughout the 1890s is states is sidestepping the 15th Amendment to pass racial restrictions to voting. Things like literacy tests or poll taxes or the grandfather clause to deny African Americans the right to vote. Voter suppression was so effective that between 1901 and 1929, not one black person served in Congress. It would take the relentless efforts of black women and black men to force Congress to pass the Voting Rights Act of 1965. But the effort to suppress voting continues unabated. In 2013, a Supreme Court ruling gutted a key provision of the Voting Rights Act, making it easier for states to restrict voting without federal oversight. The ruling is further evidence that building a truly interracial democracy in this country will require vigilance, political action, and engagement.